drawings are ones of painting, one is a pastel from the same vantage point. So you're going to have one in paint, one in pastel, same orientation. Uh, the size is going to be the size of that board over there, which is about this size right here. So why don't I, just for poops and gigs, <laughs> no, just for, so now I've got this kind of extra practice area. And I think I'm going to go, if I look at my, my viewfinder and I elongate this way, I think I'm going to go uh, vertical with it. So. What colors do we see there? I see red, red um, yellow. silver, yellow, silver. golds, the glass, white, Black. blacks. Black. All right. So if you look in your pastel kit, always keep your pastels nice and neat, so they're kind of organized here. So I see this one here. I can pull him out. I've got this one. Ooh, that's a murky water. It's the murky water color. Um, the tubes of paint have. Pinkish. Pinkish. I'd go a little darker. Um, I'm trying to tell you the truth. Hold on, just be quiet. I'll watch. And then we've got different tones of red. <laughs> right there. This would be the light tone of red. I don't have white in this, so I'm going to substitute white with this blue. Right here. And then I've got the nice dark tones. And I'd say, what color else, what other colors do you see in the water there? Yeah. Gold. A little bit Besides green. gold. Maybe. A little bit of what? Murky green. Murky green, very good. What? Definitely has a green in there. Mur if you mix these two together, mur mur I'd say that's the murky water. Right? Mean. All right, so just kind of start out, just like any other drawing, very light pressure as you start to lay it in there. So I'm going to start right with the glass picture and I'm going to draw the outlining of that. So if I have the top of it be about right here and the indent it comes down then I can have all the folds traveling up and the, the back of the, the tops there and then I've got enough room for some brushes to stick out of the top, the wrinkles behind it and so on. So I'm going to use, uh, let's start with kind of like the, the tone of the water. So right in this spot here I'm just going to very lightly Draw the top, it comes in like so, and I've got the edges of the vase coming down. So let's just look at placement. So I've got there and I'm going to have some wrinkles in the front. Don't hesitate to switch up. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to get to the wrinkles. See that one ridge right in front of it? I'm going to have that kind of travel across the front brings it down, and I've got another wrinkle ridge. Wrinkle ridges are the tops wrinkle ridge. of those little mountains another there. Wrinkle ridge. Little mountains of wrinkles. And then that kind of travels there. I've got one that goes, comes around the side, goes off there. Now, on this side right here, I've got a spot that comes over, another ridge that circles around. Got a ridge that travels right up here to the top part of the vase. And this part kind of continues over there. And watch that. Awesome. This part comes in here. I'm just drawing in the lines of all the ridges. Now I switch up again. It's going to go to this color and I'm just going to lay where I think the tubes of paint are going to be. So I've got the base here that's covered. This ridge comes over. I've got the edge of the tube. I like how that tube is curled up. All right, this comes up here. Then I've got circle. What do you think that circle represents? Top. The top of that one. That's correct, tube. sirs. This comes over here. Back through. Notice my head is moving very quickly. I'm looking down at my drawing. I'm drawing in the shapes that I see. I'm checking proportions back and forth. And I'm looking, 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 looking. And that snapshot, that second it takes for you to look at it and come back down, don't hesitate to look back up. But your head should lock it and move in and out, especially when you're trying to lay out 
all the parts of the drawing. So here's the end of this tube right here, and then I've got the black edge. All right, so let's start to lay in a little bit more color. Um, I don't know, I'm going to see all red here. I'm going to see a little bit of empty space up at the top. Let's put in just, just for... Boots and gigs. No. Stop saying that on, on tape. Evan O'Hara. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, had to, I had to attach a name to Poops and Gigs. <laughs> so if I show this to anybody, somebody will understand. That Sorry, he couldn't control himself. Right. Um, okay, so we've got the brushes here. And then I've got... I'm just going to add a couple marks here for the brushes. All right. So let's go back to the drapes. Let's add in. Let's add in this first ridge that's right here in the front. So I've got this kind of going up here. I can add in a little bit by turning the pastel on its side. I can fill in the tone a little bit better. And remember, this is just the practice. Practice, practice makes what? Perfect. Imperfection. It does. Okay, See how I left the. Uh, the white line there, that would represent the, the top of the ridge of, that's right, ridge folds. Ridge wrinkles. Ridge wrinkle, wrinkle ridge. Wrinkle ridge, sounds like a Mario Kart track. No, wrinkle ridge road. Wrinkle, wrinkle ridge road. road. <laughs> the Mario Kart track? Yeah. Wrinkle like ridge road. Like Bacon. 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 Yes, that's it. It could be a bacon in the bowl. Okay. What's going on in front of these things? Let's see. I think that this needs to be moved down a little bit. Okay. Now let's go uh, get a different color onto the vase. So we've got the yellow here. Now I'm going to kind of line it in and really try to go over my marks and really get the proper shape of the form of that glass. So it juts out just wider than that. And you can already see this is definitely the color you're going to need to create the, gra the glass tones. And we all wince in fear when I say, our first project, we're gonna use, we're gonna paint and draw something that's made of glass. Well, it's actually challenging, but it's probably the most fun when you're finished. The idea that you actually have, and we can always go back and make more room, but this is the, I'm showing the contour of the, the glass jar. Contour. Okay, let's add a little bit of a half tone onto the tube of paint. What do you guys notice too? Do I, do I stay in one area? No, you no. jump around. Jumping around. Jump. The key. When you have pastels, you want to be far back from your piece. You want to stay, um, not stay, but keep moving around. All right. All right. So there's the half tone of the tube. Inside of this, you will eventually. You can add more and more colors to pastel. But you haven't had this class just as, as of yet. All right. So where's my red? I'm going to finish up the drape here. Where's that gold tone? And on the right here. Mm -hmm. Are we still recording? Stay in oh. focus. Should I still focus. be recording? Yeah, focus. that's fine. Who knows? Uh, this will turn into I'm at nine, awesome. nine, nine minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. Does it go to 10? I don't know. All right, let me get this, let me get this filled in. Just watch. I'm adding some extra tones here. Now, watch what I can do here with these two tones. The red. Ooh. You can blend those in. Make them like look colors. more. Two Whoa. colors become one. Oh, so Got cool. you. <laughs> Do you sneeze before you sneeze? Yeah, I chew. <laughs> you sneeze and everything just 
<laughs> He's got a face full of red gold. Oh, and it's ancient Indian sand art. A chew. <laughs> It's just like, this picture's still there, it's just all my face. Alright, so don't forget about... Now we're past the 10 minute mark. <laughs> okay. It's still going now? Yeah. Nice. Go, 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 go. The only thing you have to edit out is Kevin's, uh... Poos and goos? Yeah. My poos are unnecessary. That's alright, we'll just have awesome... Commentary. Yeah. Yeah, no, now I gotta get a tone for, for, for the wooden <laughs> brush. <laughs> Lots of wooden brushes in here that I haven't even drawn yet. <laughs> So sometimes you gotta blend this out, and you can use your kneaded eraser as well. Eraser, that's so. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I don't know what that was I might be doing one. <laughs> well, it's more of a blending removal, like you can work it in and blend it. That is true. That's pretty good, actually. Indios. I think that's kind of good. No, it's not Perfect. really. Yeah, average. You know, it's like, it's like it's still dark too, maybe. It's like Well, you didn't pull that cover out. No, just for another turn. Whoa, that green's pretty sweet. It gives the tubes a distinction. Jesus. That is a sweet green color. Why do you think I'm using this green color? It, it's a uh, oh, it's it's contradicting the red. Uh -huh. Complimenting. A plus, sir. Who, to who? Uh, Max, I think, was saying it first. Whoa, I said it. Now, Max is even in this class. <laughs> this is even good at Malvern. I hope Max is in this class. Yeah, I'm just kind of here for fun. He yeah. is. He is on my grade book. Stopping by. Schools. And yeah. the grade book that I always forget to add to it every day. Let's get that. Let's trick that new water. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah. What's there? Yeah, I'm getting water. excited. It's almost murky time. Are you doing the water now? Yep. Oh. Oh. I'm yelling that across campus. So what you can do with pastels, you can kind of load up an area and use your finger. Ooh, it's murky. That's murky, all right. So when you're drawing glass, you want to go over that murk. Oh. Would you look at that? Wow. Just look at that it. is some murky water. <gasps> yeah, we're at 13 minutes, guys. Uh, that's Are we ready to jump in? You guys uh, so excited for this? Could I be like, oh, you're yeah. in. We only have like 10 minutes.